Mexican corn lasagna. That is what we have going on today. If you like the Mexican corn on the cob, you're gonna love this recipe. This recipe is very versatile. If you don't have lasagna at home, don't worry. Spaghetti will work. Any kind of pasta noodles that you have will work with the blend of the sauces and the steps that I'm gonna teach you here. All you gotta do is mix them up together and you are gonna have a delicious treat. Now let me show you right now how I make the sauce for this lasagna because you're gonna be like, that's so simple, but it's that good. Your kids are gonna love it. I think instead of pizza Friday, it's gonna be Mexican corn lasagna Friday, okay? So let's, let's, get, let's get to cooking. <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna roast our corn. This is gonna be optional if you like your uh, corn with that roasted flavor, which I do. I'm gonna be doing that for this recipe. If you don't like it, you just have to warm it up a little bit. Um, the amounts that I'm using are gonna be in the description. So go ahead and get your corn on. Your elote. That's how you say corn in Spanish, elote. So I have my heat on a medium. And what I'm gonna do, you don't wanna add any butter yet. You just wanna make sure that you're roasting it with the oil because if you put the butter, you're gonna start getting uh, the burn on your pan and on your food and you don't want that. We just wanna roast this gently so that it can start uh, bringing that corny flavor that we like. <laughs> you guys knew I was gonna say that. So while I'm roasting my corn, I have my uh, lasagna boiling in the back. So this shouldn't take too long, it takes about Five, eight minutes. It depends on your burner, guys. So just keep an eye on it. At about two minutes, you're gonna start smelling your corn just amazing. And all you wanna do is like every two to three minutes, just come in here and stir your corn, okay? Beautiful and corny, just like you. Just like me, oh yeah. <laughs> you're gonna notice when you're roasting your corn, you're gonna start getting, cause corn tends to be very milky, and you're gonna start getting it to stick on the bottom. At that point, you just wanna make sure you have enough uh, oil or a nonstick, a good nonstick pan that's gonna let you uh, stir it without getting stuck, okay? Because if you get too much of that milkiness on the bottom, you're not gonna get the roast that you want. But if you don't wanna roast your corn um, to that good, like, darker side, then you can just uh, cook it for about four minutes and you should be good. I'm still roasting my corn and right here I'm gonna start my sauce for the lasagna. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need about one or two tablespoons of butter and when you see that in my measurements in the description, it's gonna be up to you because I know a lot of you are watching what you're eating and you don't wanna use too much. That's what that's there for. But if you see that it's one to two, um, I tend to use the higher amount that you guys see. So once your butter starts to melt, you wanna go ahead and add your heavy whipping cream. And you see those chunks that are in there? That is my mayonnaise. Oh yeah. I mean, you can't have a, a corn cocktail, an elote without your mayonnaise, right? That's right. We need some of that delicious flavor in there. So all we're doing is waiting for our uh, heavy whipping cream to get warmed up so we can start adding some of our delicious cheese blend so that it can really bring out that flavor in the corn that we all love. Okay friends, so what I like to use with my nonsticks, I like to use a whisk. I get asked a lot about my products and I use my products until they can't take it anymore. I cook every day, all day, every day, all day. <laughs> so if you guys are interested in some of the things that you see here, make sure to keep an eye on the Amazon storefront, the Amastore and see if those are useful for you guys. And we do, I don't keep that from you guys, we do get a certain percentage of that, so thank you everyone that has shopped with us and supported our channel and contribute to, to our channel. I appreciate you guys, thank you so much. Okay, do you see how creamy that got with the, with the mayo? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's heavy whipping cream, it's gonna be delicious. So now, we're gonna go ahead and add our cotija. And cotija is that light, fluffy, it smells strong at the beginning, but once you cook it down and you add it to your corn, it's very subtle, but it's very, very creamy. So you don't wanna do it, over, like overdo it with your sauce to add the cheese there, because we all are gonna be adding it to our, um, our layers of our lasagna. And cotija is a cheese that you put over your corn on the cob, like your Mexican style yep, corn? Yep, the Mexican style corn. Mm. Do, I know that a lot of you guys are new to um, Mexican cuisine, um, don't be startled, don't be scared. It just smells strong, but it's very subtle. And I tell you guys, because my older son that's a selective eater, uh, he loves, loves, loves it. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cook this down for another uh, two or three minutes and I'll see you guys shortly. Okay, friends, this has cooked down for uh, three minutes. It looks the consistency that we need. We still need it creamy. We need it thick, but not too thick, a little runny. Um, does that even make sense? Yes, it does. You guys cook with me, you guys get me. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and set this to the side and show you where we're at on our corn. Not a stiff jiggle. Not a stiff jiggle. <laughs> this is not a stiff jiggle, guys. But the flan is, the flan is. <laughs> Okay, friends, this is the roast that I currently have going on with my corn. And you're going to find that you get some of the little crusty stuff. That's when the milk from the corn starts coming out. Don't be scared. Keep that in here. Just mix it well. Um, this looks pretty good for me. But you can always roast it a little bit longer. And once you get to this part, you want to put it on a low heat because then you're going to start the burning process. And that's not the flavor that we want. We just want a roasted corn flavor. And you see, some of them have it, some of them don't, and that's what we're looking for. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and strain my pasta and I'll see you guys on the island so that we can set this up. Now that we have all our ingredients set, we're gonna add a little bit of our delicious cream. And let me tell you guys, when you make your cream like this and rub your corn before you uh, really put it in the cotija, life changer. I know you guys know that I know how to cook, but I have so many secret recipes <laughs> and it just comes from messing around in the kitchen. If you guys need my quick and easy go to lasagna, it's nothing that I take hours to do. It's super quick and easy, which I think here in the States, that's kind of how we do lasagna. More of the traditional kind you mean? Not so traditional. It's quick mm -hmm. and easy buying ingredients at your store that makes it boom done. It's better than even buying the frozen one. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your uh, lasagna sheets and if I have any Italian friends, thank you so much for being so kind to me. Um, this is a fusion dish, but I don't mean any disrespect. We just, we love lasagna. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and do that. And then we're gonna just add a little bit of our cream again. This is so satisfying to watch. Is it? Mm -hmm. Cause you know how good it is. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Girl, that's like soup. I'm always a part of I'm like, oh no, that's not gonna be good. And I'm the one that eats the entire thing. <laughs> what are you gonna make it again? Well, what surprised me was how much Punky loved this dish. Yes. Well, it has a lot of his favorite ingredients in there. Uh, Yeah, it does. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and place our corn. And I'm keeping this recipe very simple. Cause you know I give you a starter dish so that way you guys can get creative with it. What you learn with lasagna is less and more. Less is more. Less and more. <laughs> I'm on one today guys. I'm oh, on it one. so good. Okay. So this is a lot of cheeses that are gonna go in here. So what I'm gonna do today, you can put all of them on the same one, but I'm gonna layer this slightly different. I have my Mexican cheese blend right here, and this is the one I purchased from Costco that has asadero, it has Jack, uh, Monterey Jack, it has um, cheddar, it has a great blend that we're also gonna be using uh, in other layers. So my bottom layer, I'm gonna make it with this blend. I mean, you can't have lasagna without having a few cheeses, right? That's right. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put some more of my cream. I think that looks pretty good. Ooh, delicious. Another layer. Don't you think I'm so sexy? I'm just so fresh. So fresh and corn cheese. Yes. <laughs> That's such a good song. It really is. I love how we can see the chunks of the cotija in here. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Now you're talking to me, baby. So now I'm going to do my, my cheddar. And I'm sure I'm gonna get some of the other cheeses to come in here, the way that I divided this, but it's okay. We can do that. Hey, why not? Let's go for it. 
Make it comfortable for your home. What does that mean? Is that sometimes you don't have the ingredients I'm using, but you have something similar, which means you can use it. Or you can change it up to something that your family is going to enjoy. Okay. The star of the show. I don't know, it's competing with that pasta. Okay, I just had to fill my cup with a little bit more of my sauce. And if you're almost running out, you can add a little bit of the heavy cream. Uh, to the remainder that you have and it should work out. I had a little bit of my sauce left and I had to add like about one third of a cup of uh, heavy cream to that guys. Oop, let's layer. I'm so excited over here. It's I'm all over the place and hungry. Because apparently I got back from vacation and my body doesn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> so if you see some gluttonous dishes guys, you already know that I'm hungry. I've been doing pretty good. Just um, chicken is what gets me, like uh, hot chicken, fried chicken, chicken wings. That's... Yes. Yeah. Well, we had um, we had some French fries when we went out, and I made sure to give most of them to to Robert. I didn't. I still wasn't happy with French fries. I know. I had like three, and then I was done with the French fries. Yeah, I had I had a few. I would say I had like maybe eight mm -hmm. of the crinkle fries, and I just don't feel the same about French fries. I think baked, I would be like, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to put some more baked uh, fries on our channel. In, uh, oh yeah, you make some really good sauces for the baked fries. Yeah, I think that's what makes it so, so good because you can keep it healthy. Okay, friends, so now I'm going to do the queso quesadilla. I, um, I'll put the brand that I used in the description area. And it's just a melty cheese, so if you guys don't have this cheese, you can use uh, mozzarella. Uh, Munster cheese would be good too. But I wanted to keep it more of the uh, Mexican flavors here. All right, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful corn. Now let's go ahead and layer a little bit of that corn here. This is that one dish where you're not gonna say, get that corn out of my face. There's something about my family that we speak in Nacho Libre at all times. It doesn't stop. Okay. You know what? I have some cheese left over. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, mix this and, and prop it in here. I don't want it to go to waste or I have to put it back. So let's just go ahead and whatever remainder cheese you have on this last layer, let it rip. Okay. You know, I like uh, using pasta that holds up and has a really good subtle flavor, not something that's terrifying because I've had a lot of pastas and I'm not gonna mention any names of which ones they are, but like I've been prone to buy bootleg pasta, like 25 cent pasta, <laughs> you name it, I've tried it. And for some reason, I really, really stick to um, this brand. I absolutely love it. I really do, the flavor's there. Okay, so let's do our final layer. And it's gonna depend on your baking dish. This long dish, I end up uh, cooking about 12 of these. And the box comes with this one. It comes with about like 19, 20 things. Let me see. Let me give you guys the exact ones. So I have 12, 14, 16, 18. Yeah, it comes with about 19 of these little pastas. I really like it. And that's how I get my kids to eat most of my foods. I mean, there's obviously some adult things that my kids won't enjoy. It's heavy, but he really surprises me with the things that he does. All right, friends, I ran out of cream. So on your end, I'm going to give you the exact measurements because I tend to eyeball a lot of things. But um, you guys are going to have are going to need three, uh, three cups of heavy whipping cream when you're making the sauce. I'll make sure to put the adjustment for you guys in the description area. It all depends on the dish you're using. Usually I just needed like two cups or so, but I guess I got really creamy today.
I'm gonna need a little more cheese like if I didn't have enough I know but this is a bag that I use um, this is probably the one that I purchased the most at Costco I put one in the freezer and then I use the other one and then I take it out like the night before and then it defrosts real well so we're just gonna need a little bit of this queso right here just a sprinkle and it has some fancy cheeses in there doesn't it it does it has Monterey Jack medium cheddar queso quesadilla and asadero I'm which, a fancy girl that's fancy to me yeah <laughs> asadero is not easy to find in like a lot of places so that's why this one melts so well. So go ahead and sprinkle just a little bit. And it's real cheese. Yes. You can taste how real it is. You know, I used to get scolded a lot on the channel about like the cheeses, that it has this, it has that, the hormones. Well, that one doesn't have any um, RBST or, and it's gluten free. Oh, nice, and nice. No, because I use the same. So for me, I think when we can figure out the pollution in the earth, I can start worrying about other things like I used to. Right now, I'm just blessed to be able to feed my kids in a world that's a little chaotic at times. Amen. All right, so let's sprinkle some of that delicious corn. I'm gonna remind you, friends, I don't cook anything on the channel that I wouldn't feed for my family or at least one member of my family that enjoys it, which I'm very blessed that I don't have my family complaining about my food. Nope, this one's a crowd pleaser too. <laughs> yeah, it is. If I was taking this for like a work function, would mm -hmm. you recommend I freeze it before I? No, I think if you make it the day before and mm -hmm. then uh, make sure that you take it out. It's, the cooking time might take you a little bit longer because everything's gonna be a lot colder. Like this is all room temperature. Mm -hmm. Hi, Pixie. Usually when I'm chopping vegetables, I give my pretty girl some like specks or like some snacks like carrots or if I'm doing corn and she's over here clacking <laughs> around, but. She smells corn. Yeah, she does. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is, this is optional. I have panko crumbs and all I did was put a little bit of oil and mix it around because when you put a little bit of the oil, it makes it crisp up a lot better. There we go. If you guys are going to ask me for the taquin, I recommend that you guys um, start it on your own because this is mixed with pasta and you're going to get a complete different flavor. Not complete, but it's going to be a very subtle different flavor. So you're going to have to um, adjust the tahin to your liking, okay? But I would not bake it in the oven with the tahin. I would not. I would wait till the end to pour it on top. And you guys already know what we like. You're going to give us a dance? Yes, you guys are going to want to dance with this one. When this is over and you sprinkle some crumbled hot Cheetos on here. So what I do with those, I put them on the side for my kids so they can add the tajin and the hot Cheetos that they like. This is like Friday night kind of meal. Like, you know, it's the weekend. That's what we need to do. So now we need some of these. Ready? Nothing you can do cause I'm stuck like glue to my kitchen, my kitchen. <laughs> and we're set. Yes, babe, you can smell that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to come down when Got you smell you the good. corn. <laughs> so now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and bake this at 375 degrees for about 30 minutes. Everything's already room temperature, so as soon as this gets hot, if you can't resist and you see the little bubbles on the outside, you're ready to bring it out. So let's go ahead and put this in the oven. Okay, so let's go ahead and bake this delicious Mexican corn lasagna. <laughs> Friends, I know school started for a lot of families, but also I was wondering where is everybody at? Because I'm very patient. You guys just know I'm here every day for you. But you guys did mention that you weren't getting notifications and some of you weren't subscribed when you initially were subscribed. So make sure that you check out the community tab for us. Uh, Cloud helped me out to put something there for you guys that's gonna make it easier for you to check uh, if you're subscribed and how to click your notifications. And if you don't like me popping up on your screen every single day, I get it. But there's a bell that lets you know uh, sporadically when I upload or a post notification so it's gonna be up to you guys so make sure you check that out um, because I have a lot of delicious recipes coming for for fall so we're here and we're we hungry. <laughs> and yeah and we're gonna be doing uh, vlogmas as well so that's gonna be a lot of fun and I don't know if we're gonna do are we doing it on both channels Claude yes 
we're doing vlogmas on both channels you guys know we like to hang out with you so yeah make sure you check uh the community tab for our channel and you guys are going to get details again if you guys need recipes and you can't find them if you type views carne asada views birria my recipes will show up if you just title it views recipe a lot of them pop up and that's the best way that i recommend for you guys to search uh views cod views fish what else Use quesadilla. <laughs> Views flan. Views flan. Make sure the I've stitches. I've dropped three sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. That's just a little update I want to let you guys know. So thank you guys so much. Oh, this creamy Mexican corn lasagna is ready, my friends. You guys excited to dig in? I'm going to let it cool for a little bit before I can slice it up. Yeah. If you guys are wondering who's gonna take this big bite, it's the grizzly. It's a grizzly bite. There we go. Ooh, you see that? My senses are already saying taquin, taquin. <laughs> yes, girl. Well, Robert likes his food really hot, so. Oh, look at. I'm gonna need reinforcements. <laughs> oh my gosh, this smells so delicious. You got double servings, babe. Oh, look at all this creaminess right here, Cloud, with the corn. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So if you guys let this sit for about 15 minutes before you serve it, everything's going to get into its place, but the grizzly wants some now, so let's have him taste it hot. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's so good, boo. Where am I going to go first? I don't know. There's so much so variety. Many. I'm going to get this crispy part. First. I knew that's the one you were going for. So all I've done that you guys have missed, I sprinkle the tahini on the top. You gotta sprinkle that tahini on the top. It really sets it apart. Mm. Mm. That's amazing. So creamy, delicious. Yeah, I can see the creamy on your lip. Yeah, <laughs> you killed it. I'm Which one do you like better, the spaghetti one or the lasagna one? Um, that's a hard choice. I like them both, babe. Ooh, the queso. Eso, eso. I'm gonna say the lasagna one. Thank you for thinking of me, everyone, but I have been fed. Thank you, sister. But this one? I'm gonna babe. taste a little bit over here. I'll tell right you guys, uh-huh. Right here? Yeah. I am a fan of lasagna. This lasagna It's one of my favorite, bomb. like, pastas. Bamboo. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, have a little. Feed her for the one fan that needs her to be fed. Uh-huh. Mm. Mm, well. I don't know how you come up with these sauce ideas, babe, but your creativity is out It's already been done, babe. I just it's put the pieces together. <laughs> amazing. You know what? Our friends encouraged me to bring like all my chaotic yeah. dishes because there would have been a time like my fusion dishes. I don't know. It's like I'm a little bit shy to share with them and you guys kind of notice. Like when I put them, I like hearing what you guys have to say because... I never mean to insult anybody's like culture or like or cuisine like I love food in general so sometimes I do have a wild flavor profile and this is an epic one I would that put this at a good. restaurant oh heck yeah. is that good it's amazing I mean and sometimes I I, I do tell you guys I'm the original because <laughs> I have messed with about every single item that you can imagine mm. those though yeah you know what's good about this oh. This doesn't sit heavy like when you eat regular lasagna. It's very light. It's creamy. It's light, yeah. It's not heavy, so it's really good. I could smash this whole thing. I know you can. <laughs> the baby grizzlies really wouldn't be happy if you smashed the whole thing. No, they they're wouldn't. They're not. <laughs> Bebe and Bayo. Actually, every single member of my family loves this corn, and this pasta, if your family loves it, make sure that you have all these ingredients and follow the steps that I mentioned. You really don't need to add a protein like chicken, shrimp, or anything. Taste the like this first and then after if you feel like, oh, I could have used it, go for it because it's a complete dish in itself. 
It's wonderful. And do not forget to sprinkle your tahini on here. All right, friends, this is our tasting. I'm gonna go ahead and feed my family. As I mentioned before, the things you see here, my family does eat. So thank you guys so much. You look like a corn superhero. Get that corn out of my face. No, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> You know, everybody's like, when are we going to see you eat corn? When we get to a million subscribers, you get to meet my mother. And I'll be eating corn on the cob. I don't eat corn on the cob in public. I'm very shy about it. Um, but that's what your guys' gift's going to be, amongst other things that we have planned. Hmm. All right, friends, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like the recipes. Yeah? All right, babe. Indulge. Sweet. I hope you guys love this fusion dish as much as my family does. Um, if you do, come back and let me know in the comments because that way I know what kind of recipes I'm going to share with you guys because you guys know it's never ending for me. I love my kitchen and I love you guys too. So thank you guys so much for joining me today and yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Adios!